The Indian Many years ago, when the eagles flew in the sky, when the buffaloes roamed the plains, when our spirits were very high, we were a contented nation, proud people of our land, lived side by side with nature, as the great white spirit had planned. Until one day the ships arrived, filled with men of greed, intent to strip our nation of its wealth they would feed. Unable to communicate, they claimed the land for others, treated our people like savages, like animals, not like brothers. Our lives were quite simple. We killed to fill our larder. The white man destroyed our buffalo that made our pursuit harder. War was inevitable. In this we had no choice, for Indians in those days were nothing. They had no voice. A nation was destroyed by those who crossed the ocean. Herded together like cattle, our future we had no notion. Our great white spirit was wise, for all those killed and bound, a welcome awaits all of them in the happy hunting ground. An Indian Thoughts an Indian sat alone and pondered. As he took one last look around, For he knew that night he would journey To the happy hunting ground. He was not afraid of taking that journey, For in life he knew there was death. He reminisced of his experience Before he would to take his last breath. He remembered as a child he'd go hunting with his father, great running bear, and the times they sat by the campfire, both into the sky they would stare. He would speak of the great white spirit who gave all this beautiful land the nature and exquisite beauty all these things were created and planned. One day, my son, you shall experience the things I have seen and done. Then you will sit by the campfire to share your thoughts with your son. Remember, this world is precious. Everything around you is on loan. We all should be eternally grateful that we are allowed to call it our home. Be at peace with your surroundings, only take that which you need. Live side by side with nature, only kill to enable all to feed. Great white spirit, I am ready. I come to you not alone, for my father has come to escort me. To your land I shall call my own.